Yeah, how'd that go? Um, Kyle Dolan. It, it, the, the jury is still in deliberation and it's held over until 1.30 tomorrow, is what the judge just told me. The judge was really cool, you know, we were kind of making fun of the state's arguments just now. Wow, that's uh, interesting. Jones or something, he's got a white mustache. Making fun of the state's argument with a jury, with a judge in the middle of a trial. Go figure. Are you tweeting out that we're recording? Nice. 99. Bud Moke Xer. <laughs> Emoticon. Sitting downtown in a railway station. Yeah, Mary, you was not lying. That thing chews this battery up. Bam. Yep. It only gives me an hour. Which is why we're going to get you charging as soon as you get that tweeted. Okay. No, one thirty. I talked to the judge just now. Oh. The judge went by and I asked him. Okay. So apparently he kicked ass. Kyle's oh, attorney I told you. is doing great. Oh, oh, they're still in deliberation. So. Oh, no, no, Do you no, have no. that power? Oh, the judge just came by. Hung jury means a retrial? What does that mean? Hung no. jury. It means, it means everything's dropped. Yeah. No. Uh -huh. no. It's done? Yeah. Kyle? No. What does hung jury no. mean? No. Hung jury means there, no. there, there can't can be a decision. retrial. There, there, there can be a retrial. But nine times out of ten, they will not retry it because of the cost that it took the to do the first try. Have two of those. But there's no guarantee that it's wrong. They might take them in the jury room and threaten them. And three of them are posed. people right now are What's the accusation that this case? Later, hot stuff. Right on. What's the alleged Okay, we're going to get We're going to get some more material for What's live stream and so forth. He wears nice dresses. Yeah, he does. Well, he's got a necklace on today. He's really decked out. You get him on camera? I did. Okay. I don't know if I got the full. Uh, 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 uh. I should have. Well, there wasn't much there. I, yeah, yeah, that's right. I don't care about like what happened in Gladstone, but I mean, most certainly this officer's ethic and his demeanor and his negligence to abide by his own bureau's policies and procedures is what escalated my conduct that day. I mean, I've, I'm guilty of disorderly conduct but well, he is as well by by pulling over turning without signaling and parking on the public sidewalk it's obstructing the pedestrian path it's well a disorderly conduct in the second degree we're both guilty of it so so jeffrey the police the other discrimination and day. harassment police discrimination and harassment uh -huh. is a major part of what's yeah, you know, I'm talking fueling about us this here, officer's way. but we aren't going to be, you, you know, know, focused on no, individual on stuff outside of here oh. for the meeting. So we should probably. Okay, I'll just. Uh, well, just been going on. About I think it. we just, we need to talk after the meeting because that's yeah. bullshit. What's we been need, happening got, to you? I need to. I need to try to try to go to Gladstone and get. Con I say I yeah. want to have consultation before I'm arraigned. Oh no, you. You can after yeah. your reign, you can apply for. Yeah, they've been they've been targeting him and and doing a lot of stuff that they shouldn't. So we're going to talk about that after the meeting because your family. Hey, boys, so, so let's keep, so, let's go back uh, to what we're talking about. Okay, can we have your attention? We're yeah. we're running through the agenda. Anybody? All right, so if we can just talk about our agenda here. Anybody have anything they want to put for us to talk about that needs to be talked about as a strategy uh, issue. I have an issue, what I want to call it is uh, signage discipline. What I mean by that is that the signs that are out here need to relate to what's going on out here. And every time that the message gets crazy and if a sign is just confusing or whatever, it doesn't help what's going on here. And we just need to recognize that and try to work toward signs that are to the point and make sense. And if, you know, it's all right to stay together in safety, solve problems, not symptoms. That sign is perfectly right on the money. But sometimes there's signs out here that aren't. So that's what I'm gonna propose for us to talk about. Anybody yeah. got anything else they wanna put? Uh, Basic stuff that has to be kept going 24-7. I'd like to talk about that because that's part of strategy. And get a Operations, get a, get a materials. Committee. I'd just like to throw out on that that, um, you know, uh, I don't agree, what was it, 99% on every sign I see.
but we're adults and you know the kids don't understand anyway. No, I mean, maybe. And, uh, but we're adults and we can be influenced one way or another. They, if they seem ridiculous and, and uh, well, don't I kind read of them. think that I kind of agree with not the, uh, I've heard the police you say every morning, you can like, well, I've heard it said, I don't want to quote that, but um, that one sign or something. Well, I don't yeah. agree with that. I mean, you can sit down and have a sign leaning in each so, direction. So but that's another agenda item right I there. I think that you should, what is I, another? The, I think that cop, you should the be cops very claims near your own sign. that have been false. And what he just said about you can only have one sign. Know who's doing the speaking. They know, okay, so go, what's, they what's, know who to go up to. Joe, you know we're doing to agenda to items too. So this is, let's, let's set this as a, something to talk about. Let's not talk we're about We're doing agenda yet. items, oh. listing What are we oh, talking okay. about? Though? Yeah. What is it that we're you're proposing to talk about? Oh. So that we all know what... what he mentioned two things. Is. One of them was a comment on our first agenda okay, item, which we'll, not, we'll okay. wait. The so second one okay. was disagreeing with cops who were making these claims. The talking back to that. They try to so, tell us we can only have one sign, mind. shit like that. No, this is a, okay, but we need to know what okay. the issue that you want to talk about. Yeah, you're, you're coming. You know no, no. There's more coming. No, later. I'm like, so, I don't know about that. Before, let's see. Does those people know that we're having a meeting over yeah. here? Yeah. No. Yeah. So yeah. we're going to go tell them? Well, no, uh, yeah, yeah, you can go home. No, uh, nameless news. Everybody's been told over there. there. Okay. Nine nine. Okay. Huh? There it is, man. That should be something so to talk about, also. Okay. So, what is the issue that you want to discuss? Well, I'm not. You said something about police. Well, no, never mind. No. I'll, I'll okay. Go. Hey. Go. This is a we protest, and any sign is an appropriate sign as we long as it go. doesn't have yeah. a derogatory Can we move remark into that? Or since we already have are anything Jimmy. offensive on it. We can add agenda items. No. Oh, you are just setting an agenda now, right? Right. But, but if you have a subject that you want to talk about, such as what do we say to the cops when they say you can't have signs or whatever, then that's something. I'll, I'll think about it. Yeah, I want to talk about that. I we could. Because we've been doing that. That's my so agenda. So let's just call it cops and signs. Well, cops and misquoting law. They're doing more than signs. Sidewalk yeah. laws. Okay, but possess. we have a meeting and we can't right, we're address meeting. everything. Here, Talking so back to cops law misquoting the law is a subject. I mean, that's what the law does. It you know, people take cops the law. and the law. Yep. Okay. We've got a major issue about the signs that we have. How many signs can we have? I got all those right there. Right. So this is. Let, let's wait until we actually start talking about the subject. Okay. Right. okay. Does anybody have anything that they want us to okay, talk well, about that we, they feel we need to talk about? Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's go to the great uh, the, the decommissioning school to try to get. Well, like At least set up a work group or something, right? Somebody can look into it. Yeah, we want to start the ball rolling. Well, I got on 122nd, they got that, that great school out there. That decommissioned. Okay. Well, How about? That's a great idea, but that doesn't really relate to the ending of the camping thing. Ah, the vigil? Okay. okay. So, you know, it's good. No, no, I thought was... Yeah, not, maybe, maybe after, after the meeting. About after the, the meeting, well, let's talk about that. Home to the end result is we're here, we're trying to get people off the streets into houses. Uh, and that's how. I'm not trying to disagree with you, but the vigil is here to end the camping ban. Um, it's done. a very specific thing that we're doing okay. at the vigil. Okay. So I want to just let's just hone in on that one thing that we're doing, and because we have a lot to talk about with just yeah. that. I yeah. know. Yes, sir. Uh, it's my understanding. I'm not sure. Uh, I haven't really seen the the laws. Like you know, it's so hard to get a the real deal. But my understanding that, like, if you sit down, um, that that way you get Absolutely. a little more room than standing up, and you know, cross your legs, and you can have your belongings like two feet all the way around you. So that gives you pretty much a six well, foot square. Seems like a lot, but that's pretty much it. I mean, you set your pack to the right. You got 
four packs, and it's one, two, I mean, three, four, you get six feet. Feet And what's, oh, wait, no, I can't. what determines, as long as you're yeah. not in anybody's way out here, yeah, what, what, what determines what, what you can be doing? Okay, that's part so, of... So that's, that's an issue under... That's an issue under cops and the law. Let's talk about this when... Yeah. when one at a time. Right now, we're talking about agenda items only. Please. And that one was not part time of one. for discussion. How many? How many of them are you gonna make? That was how it. How many we need? So Let's... you're gonna confuse everybody if you go with four or more. Just yeah, talk I think about that's the enough. Two right now, we got sign discipline, 24/7 basics, and cops in the law. Is there, there it is. There it is. Let's go. Anybody feels we need to talk about today? How about music? Why not? There are some laws that they can. Okay, let's put that under the second item. Why not? 24-7 basics. Basics. You guys call out agenda. We'll put that, we'll put that on there in 99. We'll talk about that in the second item. Okay, first item. All right. So, of those three, where do we need to start? Should we off on that? Can we start with number three? Cops, that, cops and the law. Barry, we had cops. <laughs> All right. Cops and the law. Regarding cops and the law, we need to know where we stand regarding belongings. What else are we... We, do, have we ended up with anything printed up that people can have as a handbook of the law yet? I mean, I'm, uh, I'm curious. Uh, the colonel, I just gave the colonel the information I had, and he said he's going to work on it Monday. And the idea is to get information out to everybody so they understand just what the parameters of the laws are and explain where you can sit, where you can't sit, what the laws are for people passing by and that sort of thing. So, the colonel and I okay. are going to work on that and get information out there. Okay. I'm curious about, like, as far as your rise between, I mean, they have so many, they have downtown clean and safe, they have, they have, uh, Portland Patrol, that are on bicycles, and their uniforms look the same, and then, I mean, what are your rights as far as being in, in, with the parks, rangers, I mean, who do you deal with oh, yeah. in your, a certain uh, situation? Okay. okay, so, so I got... Hey, back up. Let me back up. We're going to... We're talking about cops and the law. Yeah. We're touching... Oh, yeah, that's... That we're going to touch... We're going to touch on belongings, subject. the handbook of the law, and the different enforcers. Yeah. Is there anything else under this category that we want to talk about right now? Yeah, the pedestrian use zone, which contains all of those... Uh, pieces of information not blocking cars uh, people's access is is something else outside of the pedestrian use zone so we got two categories we got just the pedestrian use zone and we got the area that you're in Jimmy and they're challenging us on both we're winning in this thing but we got some gray areas on the cars getting in and out of cars but as far as your belongings, structures, having to have things between, you know, two feet away from you, not having it more than two hours, not having all these signs out, all that's BS unless it's in the pedestrian use zone, according to 14A.50.030. Swear to God. So I've been lying out here pushing them in the morning when I'm here, and they have lost. The only one that they are okay. standing up to me is cars getting in and it does specifically say block i am not blocking okay so we got two zones the different enforcers the handbook of the law and belongings so under the category of cops and laws is there anything else we need to talk about right now anybody got anything else okay so mary is saying that we've got two different zones to work in can you explain that quickly and concisely yes that's the frontage line where the curb is this is the that's the front the buildings are the front end. It is not. Well, I think so. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Go ahead. Agree to disagree. Okay. Okay. The frontage line or not, the curb. Right. Uh, the zone that is required closest to City Hall or the property, uh, which is eight feet, which is approximately right to there. That's like eight and a half according to 99 feet. And, uh, and then the rest of it is outside the pedestrian use zone and that is the wording on 14.8.30 or 50.030 and that's really important because when you look at it everything that they're talking about is in that zone everything else is not even discussed 
because there is no limitation on personal property having to be within two feet in this area in that area so we're talking about what is this zone called the outside the pedestrian use zone <laughs> that's, that's its honestly title. yes <laughs> So this is this is outside the zone. This is inside the zone. Right. Shorthand. But you know what they told us in Northwest? You can get a wheelchair down the sidewalk. The sidewalk's open. And that's what the police tell us too. That's the what they're saying. Oh, really? there. Absolutely. As long are you, as you can get a wheelchair camera, down, by the way? you're cool. Oh, honey, I'm here. Okay. I'm gonna run your Okay. Here. Make sure. To... Mary, your abusers here. Because in Northwest, we're sleeping over on the sidewalk. As long as you can get a wheelchair down the sidewalk, you're good. Well, I think. That's uh, a valid point, but well, let's remember that we're also appealing that to the public and the public the complaints. Down the sidewalk? Well, no, no, I'm saying if you can get a wheelchair down the sidewalk, right. the exactly. rest of the sidewalk's yours. But, let me, to you. but let's let's understand as something as here, though. The side of the wheelchair. Let's understand something here. Anytime they want to, they can go down there and they can change that as long as they're within the guidelines of... But for some reason, they're not. Right, but okay. that's they, not... They, that's not they a, I'm sorry. They, 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 they use oh, nuisances. They okay. Use, they challenge that brings, Mary with new sense of That brings another Mary. thing. We need to understand what the law says, not what's going on, right. okay. because it's when they step beyond the law that we have to. Someone got to go legal. Check them. Okay, but we, we do to need to keep track of every time they say that's okay, you're fine, this is fine, because we need to be able to bring that back to their attention. Hey, just yesterday you said this was fine, and I think we need to just keep telling them what they say. I mean, they are playing games here, but as far as what we can legally do, the only thing protected that I know of is the outside the pedestrian use zone. Okay. And right. and that we can have structures even. Actual structure. It 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 also says I mean there's there's rules in the camping ban that are also things that we can exploit that we haven't even talked about if they're in this zone. Right. Oh, but the cop was telling me that he could declare it a nuisance that he could put me in jail for um, disorderly, conduct. disorderly conduct because he asked me nicely to pick up my sign and moved it and I didn't um, because it wasn't his legal lawful order to do so. Um, and they also tried to say that anything could be called a nuisance. This is the because I said so law that doesn't exist yeah. in court. <laughs> and, yeah, and, and, and here's stuff. where nuisance comes you know, in. Nuisance. Line L of that 14A.50.030 does say that if we break that code 14A.50.030 then they can declare something a nuisance and haul it off but if we're in compliance with the law which we're, we are if we're in that area they can't just call everything a nuisance so the only thing remaining on that one is opening the door when a car gets tries to open the door if they can't that's a problem but we are allowed to be there the only problem is if we block, and the rule about what it means to block means they cannot get around and we have the intent of blocking. So when they say, oh, you're kind of in the way, that's not blocking, that's not against that ordinance. Right, but you try to move for them. But we like do, and we told them, and 99 told them, hey, don't insult me by thinking I'm rude to pedestrians and, and uh, cars. I we're am sure. not. We're sure we take it as it comes. We're yeah. People need clear through. We make yeah. we make the front. Oh, you're right, Jack. That's okay, okay, but it's all right. Want to tell yeah. Me yeah. Okay. Here it is. Jack's right. Curb line. <laughs> Cur well, I know. Thank it's, you. <laughs> I want it to be. Okay. Well, the Here's the curb line at the top, and that is obviously the curb, and then the frontage line. Is the building or the? Okay. So, okay. here's that diagram. We'll look at it after the you meeting. Guys, we're going to run off copies right, this for everyone. And 14A. Which one? So, let's let's recap here okay, real quick. That. Oh, he's got that. Okay. And, and lightning's been. Yep. I'm, gonna, lightning. I'm just going to recap and I'm going to go to lightning. Okay, thank you. Yeah. So, yeah. at this point, so we're talking so about the fact that we've got this zone yeah, right here. Well, essentially, is where we are really fighting the battle because this right. is. This is the space that we have allowed to us. We can't let them encroach on it. We have to understand what our limitations are in this space in the first place. We have to understand what the law says in this space. This is kind of the, the crucial space right here. Uh, and it's having intent to block. That's important. Um, but then remember about the nuisance. Anytime a cop decides that you're a nuisance, apparently the law 
far as we understand right now, says they can do whatever they want. Not. That's what I just said. Not. Nuisance. Nuisance is if we are breaking that ordinance, which is in this zone we are not, only if we are breaking that ordinance can they declare it a nuisance because subsection L of that law says clearly if you break this law and you have possessions here, the cop can abate the nuisance. So that's outside the zone. Correct. You're outside the so zone. So when he tried to tell me that his catch all law, his because I said so law was nuisance, just like disorderly conduct or interfering with a peace officer, those are not held up in court. So we okay. cannot give in. Okay, so the nuisance might be bullshit. But we Yeah it is. Right. It is. But Remember, this is not legal advice here. Right. And if you decide to challenge this, you're kind of on your own at this point until we actually fight this battle. But I did tell okay. him that, and, and I, he backed off. Uh, uh, like, okay. One of the issues that I've had out here is absolutely they yeah. consider this a moving zone. This is kind of a an area that we can do a lot of things with. But this is this is where we run into the problems here. First of all, I agree from a, a previous meeting. Okay, I agree from a previous meeting you brought up. Always diffuse the situation. A lot of these cops really don't understand what the true law is. We get into their face and we start escalating in a in a very angry manner, and we really don't know what the true laws are. It's not going to go anywhere. That's why, like talking with Jimmy, he's got a good attorney. We can get some actual laws established to where we have something in our hand and we can show the officer and say, this is provided from an attorney. And this hey, is do you know that following. guy? Now, is that your friend? Do you know him? In the event. Hi. Oh, OK. That's, that's his. How are you? It is? Great. Yeah. I'm just watching out for people. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Anyway, that way we have a, a, a little bit of a position to stand on you know so we, so that goes back to the handbook exactly so and that's that we have to have that if we're going to make a real stand we have to have that and we have to have the actual law stated from the attorney on what our rights are and not get not escalate the situation especially when the officer doesn't even know what the true law is and i i stated that to the officer and he said that's true there's a there's a gray area here it's very vague, but he said, I have, I'm being instructed to do certain things and you need to understand that. And I said, we're going to talk to an attorney and get back to you on that with what the true law is. And we're willing to try to work with you, but we need to know what the true law is. And, and that's all I'm saying, because otherwise it just escalates. He doesn't really know. We don't really know. Where's it stand? It, it's very vague. Oh no, we gotta have somebody go to the library and study. Well, no, Jimmy's got an attorney that can. Um, no, 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 no. My attorney's not doing anything with the business. Well, well anyway. The sidewalk lock. No. Between oh, no. Mary. No, no, no. Okay. We do have Mary. Stu. We've got to go. Friday. We've we got to go on our own. We don't need no attorney. Between Mary and Barry, I saw it. They, they, they had those officers back paddling. So. Right, but we all need well, to have that. Yeah, well, gonna, and if we can well, get a handbook together. And everybody can get it, at least we'll know, and we can show them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, there's a... Okay, so how, what are the steps that need to be taken for a handbook? First of all, if we have 14A.50.030, that's really short. That's two pages long. We've got to have somebody go to the library I don't have a printer. and research yeah, we we we. Off at the library. Or we can okay, go to the office and print that stuff yeah. off. We can print it at the office. Might as well put the office. I'm actually going yeah, to exactly. Spokes tonight, and I can print at least a few copies of that right there. So let's, we'll have them let's get, tonight. Let, but let's make sure that when we do this, that we're getting everything that relates to what's going on out here. Yeah, exactly. Okay. We we, we don't want any misinformation thrown in to confuse anybody. We well, we want point two, point two, oh two, oh, point oh three oh, and one other. Right. There's, there's more there. If you need to go look, there's, there's, I forget what it's called. But there's a category over on the right, and it says something very similar words to public nuisance, but it's just some catch-all crap. Okay, let's look at the catch-all crap but for you're gonna sure. Have, some of that's gonna we're gonna need that in there so that if they try pulling that out, we can say. Yeah. yeah actually, do you know it says this. It, that nuisance law? If there is such a thing that gives them that I mean, extra okay. authority, I mean, we yeah, have to challenge. I mean, yeah. It applies to certain. 
no. for sure. It applies. Yeah. It applies when the police officer yeah. decides yeah. something yeah. to the, 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 the situation. Yeah. He either applies it or he doesn't. You know, he yeah. takes it as it comes, kind of like we do with the sidewalk thing. We take it as it comes. You know, it's, it's just the situation either it dictates or it doesn't. You know what I mean? Right, and it's. But a lot of it, since we're dealing with some real gray area here, which I think it was intentionally made gray, exactly. it's up to his interpretation. And if we can, if we can get him to understand that we understand the law better than they do, Absolutely. that's going to give us a leg up. Well, it's a kangaroo Those, court. I mean, these yeah. officers go along and they 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 uh, they apply certain laws that are that are written as fail safes. And right. they apply it even if it applies or not. Right. You understand? Just so they can win specifically in a court of law. And yeah. who fails? Us 99 percenters. Yeah. This is God's law. Those boxes are the same situation. Sorry. And public that might. defender. You need to get a public defender that wants to sell you the prosecution instead of to help defend you. And we got to make sure we we print every piece of information in, in that little pamphlet. Sorry, brother. Eric stands a shot of humor. So <laughs> hey, we, we like what we, you said. Are we man. done yeah. Yeah. with this one? Yeah. Or not? Was there anything else we need to talk about the handbook? If we all understand it's a great idea, and if we can get that out here, Jack. As I understand, it's something that the colonel's going to start working on on Monday. And I've offered to work with him on that. So anyone else who might want to do that certainly would appreciate the help. It'll certainly put us all on the same page, and like you say, it'll hold the police yeah. accountable for what exactly Beautiful. what they're trying to tell us. Well, you know, officer, I believe you're mistaken. Do everybody know what they're looking for? We're not just we're not just gonna put anything on a piece of paper. Right. right. There's the two issues, which was the sidewalk ordinance and then the nuisance. What about the camping ban? Yeah, we're not, not camping. It we're doesn't sleeping. play. But that's that's not even our fight. Okay. If they, if they want to end a camping ban or if they want to continue a camping ban, then let's incorporate new <laughs> words and, 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 and turn this in on them. Because we're not camping, we're sleeping here. This this is uh this this is reality right here. And, and, and I think I think one thing that was demonstrated by the colonel's trial is that the laws are written in a vague the ordinance is written in a vague way for the very reason that they can apply it any way they want. And the only way that it can be overturned is in the courts. And when that happens enough, then they'll change them realistically. But right now, even though he won in court, it doesn't change how the police right. interact. It, it doesn't change yeah. nothing because this is how they see it. Right. Uh, if you're sleeping outside, well, this, if you're outside under the sky, you're camping. Okay? That, you, you don't get no bigger than that. So, I mean, it's not part of this agenda, but Jimmy mentioned at an earlier meeting that the police could play a big role in turning this around by saying, we're not going to do this anymore. I mean, they're in a position of enforcing laws that are vague and and almost unenforceable in some ways. Uh, but the bad makes them enforceable. Exactly. Well, it's when, also when true that... Come on, folks. Heads up. Oh, hey. Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Whatever you're doing. This is the wiki spaces. It's linked to on the home page of Occupy through the vigil button. The wiki spaces, in addition to having a sign up sheet, also has a document called point like it's 001. And that is these laws. All the links to whether you can videotape a police officer, oh, the sidewalk ordinance, the camping good. ordinance, well, some thing other things. Thing about it, Jack, is, you so know, that'll help some you. Officers out there that, that are, you know, they're about Anybody their want job one of these cars to check out the wiki spaces? Out here that, they, that they're used to. I don't call them very well. Thank you. And, 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 oh, you mean people being so, targeted? Or? Some of those people fight back. They wrestle, and them. this is what the officers. This is where those laws are. You know, they come one of them. into their job, put their uniform on, and they say, "Yeah, that but 99, these are links I hope to I run into him today because statutes. you know he's argumentative. So yeah. he's this close to you know to, to, to uh, having to uh, call back up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Couple sets. I'm gonna do that before whatever you think applies. 
yeah, yeah. Start. yeah. 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 So, so I'm, I don't think I'm just gonna wait until we've gone through this. Sure, I mean, yeah, I don't think it has anything to do with Right. Yeah, we'll do that as an intermediary step. We'll have it at the vigil. Hanging up, and, and I'll put a couple of copies stashed in there. Somebody there with the camera. So somebody doesn't take it. Okay. 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 Call into order here. Well, no, All right. Let's get back to our agenda. This is why they focus on us because we're the fine. We got two more so anybody items. Got, anybody got anything else that we need to say about the handbook right now? We're, we all understand that we're going to create a handbook that's going to contain the provisions related directly to this right here. Uh, sounds like Colonel and Jack, and I don't know, maybe 99, I'm not sure what's going on over there, but maybe you guys are going to fashion something together that it'd be great if we had the uh, ordinance and then sort of some explanation for the rest of us to read and understand some kind of narrative there that's written in normal people's language that we can have something to work with. But in the meantime, we're going to, Mary's offered to go ahead and print the statues up and then get them out here, a couple copies, and whatever, tonight. so that we can at least have it in our hands, so that if it comes down to it, we can say, well, actually, it says this. And sure. So we're going to, we're conducting kind of a legal clinic here in ad hoc fashion. But does anybody got anything else we want to say about the handbooks at this point? Perhaps well, we could even hand them to drivers with us sure. while we come up with it. Any? Well, I think it's good to preface when we talk to a police officer that it's really important, officer, to me that we follow the law, which is why I'm taking great pains to follow every letter of this ordinance, which I am right now. And I think if we let them know that every time, it's less adversarial than if we say, I am too, look. So maybe if we start out our sentences consistently with, it's really important to me to follow the law. That's why I've got this. Yeah, making our Thank best you effort much. to do good that point, good and point. comply with the law so, and do it right. Yeah. And I agree with that. It's very positive to make those statements. So, sorry. Oh, sorry. Well, not to mention making this uh, said uh, handbook available to Mike Reese, because I'm sure he and his staff would be obviously <laughs> interested into what's being, what we came up maybe with as a collective. End, maybe we can end, end up educating the police department. Well, yeah, that's just it. Everybody's got to get on the same page. Right? The campers, right. the, the, the well, we're police. We're not camping. Well, you, I'm sorry, wrong, wrong choice of words. Sleep. But yeah. Yeah. people speak, you understand what I'm Sleep saying here. Okay. The sleepers, the police, everybody's got to get on the same page or this is never going to work. Yeah. Uh, we make much. Sorry, I don't mean to check on that, but it's very important not to say campers. We are sleep activists. Absolutely. Or whatever you'd like to call us. Anybody got anything no, no, else to say about the handbook at this point? No, go on. Okay. Just, uh, so we're starting to touch on discipline out here, uh, which is a big subject, and it's a real bitch. Let's <laughs> just be honest about it, because I don't want to necessarily be under somebody's discipline, but I understand that sometimes it's not about me, which is along the lines of if we can talk to the officers in such a manner that it makes all of us look good, as opposed to, fuck you, pig, which doesn't make any, it makes all of us look bad if you behave that way. I've been here for a couple of months, and I've seen nothing but respect come down through here for the officers. Well, I have seen from a other from yeah. a percent. Well, I, have, I haven't seen percent. nobody disrespect the cops. That's nice. Well, that's I haven't, good. I, I haven't that's seen a, that. That's, that's good. Well, that you okay, we only had one done. incident. We had a drunken Russian come through here, and he true. got dealt with. He left, and he's not been back. Okay, but that's the only incident we've had. Everything else. I would when, say we're when, doing when pretty well recently, by? right, Jimmy? Let me say this about that. <laughs> the thing is, if we decide that, oh, we've got it under control, we've never been disrespectful to the cops, then what we end up doing is we don't talk about how we're going to talk to the cops out here. And then when somebody comes along and they're acting like an asshole and make the rest of us look bad, we don't have any anything to work with because we all yeah, haven't yeah. agreed to anything. Right. So if we go ahead and say, hey, we have been respectful. We all see the value of remaining respectful, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and we agree moving forward that we're going to maintain that. Then we've already established something for it. And when I tell Joe to, 
Hey, he's, he's a down Joe. You know how the deal is around here. It's not like I'm attacking him. It's like but I'm saying, get, hey, man, yeah, you're part yeah. of this. But you get to a part. point where he needs to be hitting the head. <laughs> Somebody's got to, you know, no, no, goddamn this. Excuse me, because Somebody's got to make that decision and hit him. Well. You got there's somebody no, up there's here. Gotta be a number there's gotta maul- You got somebody up here mauling somebody. Ah, uh, so they're on top of them. Like and okay, Shantasina. We did and it. You're, you're down them. You knock them down. Shantasina is something that we've practiced okay. out here okay. before. It's okay, I'll, no, it's I'll one of the most powerful it. things I've ever been a part of. It was of. amazing. And it works. Uh, that works. If there, yeah, we should talk about that if there's time. Okay, about that, works, that experience, right just that 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 thing. I apologize. This, this, this relates to discipline. What's it called? Well, the guy was all over 99. <laughs> so okay. all of this that Sometimes, we're talking about relates to discipline and right, how right, okay. we are going to, I, I listen to you. behave oh. ourselves because we understand that we're representing something. Our behavior, repre- my behavior out here represents every one of you. Yeah. And the same goes for you right. and anybody else that comes well, along and is associated in. with us. Right. And I don't want anybody who's an asshole representing me. Right. Because that's going to drive me away. And if I'm an asshole, it's going to drive you away. So I'm not an asshole. So that conversation, respect. Jimmy, I want to chime in on that okay. conversation that Please. we have with one another. I think the key of it is is that we're not randomly put together we're here because there's a group of people that changes some people come and go come back but we are when we come here we're here to protest the camping ban and we're like a group we're like a action group Forced to um, change. and so when we're doing an action together we've planned the action just like a march you plan the march are you going to get a permit or are you not going to get a permit you know, so we have decided as a group that our demonstration is going to be appealing to the public and being respectful and having good PR. And so if we see somebody who's doing something, whether it's maybe just detracting from the message, you know, there was a guy who, you know, isn't welcome here. And he used to put up signs that said, I'm here, you know, to protest the end of the 40 ouncer. Okay, and he sat in the middle of us mixed up our message on purpose and there's people who spange it's a no spange zone but it's also a highly supportive of spanging zone but we just don't do it right here so all those things were group decisions and they have to remain group decisions and when somebody's outside of that the technique that we've used is one person maybe in order to not make it a big deal if it's not an unsafe situation goes up to that person and says hey this group has decided so we're going to keep our message strictly down to kind of ending the ban and not about, say, bringing back the 40 ouncer. And, and that person will either say, listen, or kind of say, screw you. If they say, screw you, grab your buddy <laughs> and you come over and you say, yeah, I, I was just telling the fella or lady that we're doing this. And we got to stay solid at that point. If somebody invokes the this group does this unless they're out of line we all got to hear that and back them up no mixed messages at that point so that was the technique that we used and it worked really well i disagree i still disagree somewhat about the signs about but not the, about the about the 40 ounces <laughs> I mean, he's got we allow room it's, it's just like standing in a sandwich line I don't feel like standing behind this guy, and I feel like standing 10 feet back. I expect people to go in front of me, not get behind me. I don't get that. And I apologize to you uh, non-binary people. No, no, I'm sure. No, sure. I apologize. It's a big camp. Well, it's still place, you know, eye for eye. So, and, and we don't get I, it. I apologize. Yeah, but we don't get our if we are badly behaved. I just sat in the courtroom and listened to 
jurors being picked who express this about Occupy. But we can't allow people to come out and disrespect us. Well, if somebody is physically threatening another person, you're going to be able to do about that. They're going to be disrespectful. You got to let them do that. That's their that's their mentality. Okay. If I'm going to be involved, I got to allow that. Okay, let's go over the Shantasina incident. So, I got to. I don't think you have to apologize, but we got to tell you something. Well, I got to apologize. So, I'm going to wait till traffic goes by for a second. You have to be a pleasant friend of mine. Well, I think we can respect what you're saying. We have discussion around that. Yeah, yeah. So, this is my perception of what's going on kind of in a bigger picture and in here. Uh, none of us wants to be told what the fuck to do. That's what brings us all out here together. That's the one common thing in this whole group. None of us wants to be told what the fuck to do. So, since I don't want to be told what to do, and you don't want to be told what to do, can we can, asked? yes, can we can be asked, asked and we can, maybe we can even go one step back from that and, and establish some sort of understanding that's already in place before we have to ask somebody. And the understanding is that, hey, we're not here to fight and bicker amongst each other and make each other look bad. We're here to make them look bad. Oh, right. lead by example. Exactly. I get it. it. Makes perfect sense. We want to make them look bad. Sure. Now, we so. just have to understand that our behavior out here is what makes them look bad. If we're acting like idiots, or they don't look that bad. It's just that simple. Now. Yeah. Now, when somebody's out here acting a fool, we have to deal with that in a way that respects that person as a person. Because if I start going off out here and you all start disrespecting me while I'm going off, you're just going to make it worse. Okay. That's, we all understand that. We all can feel, yep, yep, that's exact. So, first off, we have to just grasp the fact that we're out here we're performing actions actions are behaviors behaviors are what illustrate things if we're out here acting like decent human beings and we're sleeping on the sidewalk that makes it harder for somebody walking by to just dismiss us that makes it harder for somebody walking by to go yeah these guys have got it all figured out they can handle it that's it the whole makes it point real of hard this. to allow someone to come by and disrespect us we're, we're doing what we're doing and believe in what we do and have somebody come up here and disrespect somebody that is tough to allow yeah okay? right right to allow it. but we're yeah. gonna have to oh we got all we're gonna have to understand and recognize in each other every time i've been out here and somebody's acting in like an idiot I hear, I hear saying, every time somebody's been out here acting like an idiot i have gotten somewhere with them because i recognize that they share something with me, which is they are, they don't want to be told what to do. Right, I can't. They can be I asked what to do. So, so now we need another pamphlet on how to address those issues. No, how do we no walk up to that person and open a conversation? Oh, we had those. Just That's say no gonna, violence, take it to Mary or, or We uh, had 99. those. That's how we do it, just uh, go to 99 or Mary. Uh, this is a problem. That, that technique is yeah. useful yeah. if 99 yeah. and Mary's around. Yeah. But yeah. I'm well, we agree I don't for agree. a larger right. technique. You can't bring it to me. Right. Yeah. And I, I'm, I'm, not the police. I'm advocating for a larger a larger oh. technique, which is oh. we're all dealing with it. <laughs> if somebody's out here <laughs> acting like an idiot, we are all responsible for that. Right. This a point of last night with these two that we had over there that were making sexual advances towards people. They were asked to leave. They were made the comment. They don't have to. So we all band together and told them those actions aren't allowed. Community they brought. Decision. They bring unwanted attention. It's going to bring bad media. Leave. These individuals are now in Hillsboro. Nice. 
There was a guy yesterday who got drunk and smashed a bottle right in the middle of the street. Oh, I chased him dude. down on he was on a bike. I chased him down and caught him. And we had a Marine there. This individual who used to be in the military. That Marine got up in his face and drilled him like a sergeant. Told him you are unwanted in this park. You are unwanted at this protest. Those actions are unwanted. And that's what we have to do. We have to stand together. Because we try to stand alone, we will be taken down. Alan. One person cannot do anything. Yeah. Can I say something? Together, we can make My change. hands are all dirty because I'm on a wheelchair. I'm just not a dirty person, okay? I, I feel guilty about this. Don't. <laughs> I understand. Well, I'm looking so, at my hands. Oh, you're looking, talking about twinkling. Oh, oh, look at my hands. Uh, don't worry about it. Okay, yeah, you can I, I got the wheelchair on. looking you in your eye. Folks, are, hey, the we're folks. looking you in the yeah. eye. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Your eyes ain't dirty. I'm pure of heart. Hey, I'm pure of heart. Please, man. I just want to say one thing in common. I'm sorry, brother. What's your name? Draco. Draco, yeah. Draco, it's nice to meet you. Jimmy. Um, I just want to say one thing in response to what you're saying. And this is from this history and experience. The behaviors are what is not wanted here. The people right. are well wanted. Yes. It's the actions that they're doing. Now, if this individual, the one that smashed the bottle, he wants to come back, as long as he's sober and can conduct himself cordially, no problem. Right. It's when you get out of line and you can't control yourself and you start doing stupid things. That's what's on That's what has to be removed. And that's what will be removed. And there, there is a big difference in the overall effect that you have. Can I, can I yell at you for a second? So let's say I'm yelling at, at Lightning. There's two things I can say to him. I can say, Lightning, you got to get the fuck out of here. Or I can say, Lightning, Lightning, you got to knock that shit off. One of them, I'm talking about Lightning. One of them, I'm talking about what he's doing. He's right. guilty. Yeah, you, you can tell by the look on him. And I smile back. <laughs> but the point That's is, the, greatest, uh, but the sometimes. point is, yeah. if you're yelling at me that I'm not wanted here, I'm going to hear you say that I'm not wanted here. But if yeah. I, if you're yelling at me that my behavior is not wanted here, there's a chance that I might hear you saying I'm wanted here, but my behavior is not wanted. Look, so don't. this is this is tricky, and it's hard to do in the moment. But it matters. We don't feel that yelling is going to escalate the situation. Do, do we have to yell? Can, I was just using that as an Actually. Can we walk up to the person and say, hey, can, can I talk to you? Yeah. Pull you aside and walk around the corner. Here, let's go have a beer. This is what's what we have here. Yes. And, totally. And, and we talk about it. And, and if that person understands, yes. you know, then, okay, maybe the behavior is corrected. I, I, I right. and, and then I disagree with the fact that getting everybody to to gang up on the one person will escalate the situation. Also, it's yeah. all, it, it all has to do with the situation and the context. Um, but if we all understand as a group that there's a certain thing that we're shooting for, at least if that's the base, we're all shooting for a certain type of behavior out here. That's a good start. That's that is the group, but it's not the group all jumping on somebody and getting in their face. Sometimes it has to come. Sometimes it does have to be the whole group in somebody's face. Hallelujah. Sometimes there's been there's been people out here being violent, William Booth, hurting people. Well, something had to have happened. The whole thing about yeah. people with their actions. I don't know about anything, but I was born here in Portland, 1969. I remember growing up in the 70s, in downtown Portland, coming to. The Rose Festival, the parades, and all that. There was never none of this uh, sit lie, none of this uh, sidewalk. Something had to have happened that forced the local, uh, the local yokels in City Hall to come up with these uh, bans or restrictions. In other words, uh, the people that 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 uh, caused this mess, you know, weren't willing to take it as it comes. Hey, excuse me, sir. Can you move aside so we can get by? Sure, not a problem. We took it as it come. Why? Because it was not that serious. Other people who think inward with their addiction or who they are or whatever their problem is in their life at that time has caused it and has ruined it for all the rest of us. Now, obviously, here we are trying to make systemic change on a reasonable level that uh, society will be comfortable with. And obviously, that won't bet the police all out of shape. You know what I mean? But 
completely, but homeless families rose 30% just last year. Yeah, so I would say that the cause is probably the fact that we have 2,500 people outside on the streets when the shelters are full, and we didn't have that necessarily before to this extent. So now we've got problems. Um, I just want to bring out the time issue that we're going to spokes, and we still have one more item to get through, and it's quick. If we're if we're getting close to being done with that, I gotta go. So and my this, battery's. Uh, let me ask uh, the booklet. Can we please? Should we include this? Chantasia, whatever. I don't know that term. I think the booklet will be a, a work in progress always. Okay, Anything so that we, we can add in there. Ways that people can deal with. I, I mean, I would throw it in the original, but you know, it'll it'll get revised okay. and yeah. added to as necessary. And we're gonna look for you to help. Them. You are, huh? Uh, well, you're pretty goddamn sharp. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Um, you two, you know, both of you to help us put this book together. You volunteered. Yes, you you brought the word up now. You volunteered now. You, girl, you and No, girl, Colonel and Jack. You, we, we're yeah, going to need your help. Upset now. So, just briefly to, to recap, Believe we me. all understand the value of, I want to come up with a better word, but I'm going to say discipline for now. We all understand the value of at least being on the same page Absolutely. and accepting, yes, there's something bigger than me going on here, and I can be part of it, and I can support it through the way I act. And tangentially, which we can skip this if you want to, but we can support it in the way our signs sort of center around one issue, homelessness versus the lack of the 40 ounce. Sure. You know, this is all. And and about some of that we're still having discussions Lightning. one on one. Yes, it's still an you. open topic. And, listen, and sharing with everybody you. else. Sharing Jimmy's with everybody else. Jimmy's a smart person. Mm -hmm. Right. right. Listen, listen, listen. But I'm respecting Joe with the dissenting so, view yep. that we will continue to have this conversation. It's I'll not. There's no rule coming out of this. There's, there's no rules here. There's, there's only some shared exactly. consciousness taking place with not 100%. So. We're, ne we're negotiating, we're negotiating. what's going on, but we understand that there is the value right. in certain things. Right. Anybody got anything else that burning they need to say about Because folks is coming uh, up, so we got to move. Hallelujah. We got one more thing we want to talk about. No one has to claim over, but okay. Okay. So uh, needs. Uh, we got four sides this building. Let's okay. yeah, let's talk about we got four that. Sides this building. We're gonna be back after spokes. A lot of us and some people aren't leaving, so there'll be we can have some. We got coffee. Yeah, so we got coffee and donors. Everybody. We got coffee. Set. Yeah. We, well, what does that mean? If somebody's in your spot when you come up, you should have got to your spot earlier. Yeah, yeah. I was saying, so, uh, so it's, it's like first, first come, first serve. This, so this, this, come this notion, there. this idea that we're talking about here, really is a good segue into the 24 7 basics going on out here. Because one of the 24 7 basics going on out here, we were talking about this a little earlier, you know. Uh, if somebody asks you to watch their stuff, and you watch it, and you agree to watch it, you've agreed to watch it. But if somebody asks you to watch their stuff, you don't need to feel obligated to yes, watch you their do. stuff. Yes, you do. No, you do not need to feel obligated well, to say yes. you agree to watch their no, stuff, you agree to it. But you he's agreeing with you. He it. said, Ma, don't agree. If I walk up agree. and I say, will you watch my stuff, and you say no, that's fine. Okay, if I say yes... That's Hell different. or high water, jail or hospital. That's different. It's the only reason your stuff yeah. be gone. But if you want to say no, right. you can definitely say no. And just well, to add yeah, something. yeah, yeah. I mean, okay. I'm not. Just to add something. Yeah, to that. exactly. If somebody does ask, and you set a time frame to come yes. back and get your stuff. Come back. And stand yeah. by that time. I am frame. not embarrassed to get up and drop you know, my drawers. Right. Well, you know now what? I'm what? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All five hours later. That's not what I meant when I said watch your stuff. Wake them up. Okay. So they brought it to my attention that they knew how many bags I carried. They also brought it to my attention that when I see, I have a habit of saying all of this shit is mine. Yeah, right. So the officer brought it to my attention. Well, 
just from the other day, I know that you've accumulated a lot of bags. <laughs> so I brought it to trees. his attention. Come on, guy, give me a break. There is a <laughs> lot of people out here. You know all these bags aren't mine, but they're not in anybody's way. Yeah. So, and that goes back to that law. They're misapplying. When you, when you take it upon yourself to, to claim somebody else's things, know that the officer might know what bag is yours and what bags right. aren't yours. Right. So 24 well, seven, you if you leave something out here, if you bring something out here and it gets stolen, guess whose fault that really is? Yeah. It's yours. It's yours. yours. That's, right. That's just the way it is. Anything yeah. else is irrational. Sure. If, I, if you leave your stuff here and it gets taken it? by somebody or by a cop even, can you blame it on anybody other than that cop? If you leave your stuff in somebody's care and they get beat up by the cops, you better take them to McDonald's the next morning buying breakfast. Yeah. So <laughs> this is this is yeah. uh, I don't know. But this uh, is yeah, twenty you know. this is twenty four seven stuff that we're talking about here. Yeah, this yeah. is I'm just teasing. Constantly accepting what's going on out here. Now, there's some that's twenty four seven philosophy. Mary wants to talk about some twenty four seven tactical and logistical shit. She's our leader. I'm not a leader. Uh -huh. You okay, are our leader. Yeah, let's hear what you got to say. Mary Don't is say our leader. that. You're painting the target on me. Yeah. 24-7. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we'll jump in front of you, girl. <laughs> I love you. Okay. We'll All right. Um, we'll be the target in front of okay. you, girl. Okay. So here are the, the basics that we have to always Please maintain. Go. We have to maintain the ability to document with video. We have to maintain having a lit candle, beautiful vigil. Uh, I'm gonna interrupt my flow. Are we guaranteed out here, girl? Okay. What? Are we allowed? Are we guaranteed here? Guaranteed what? Can I sleep here? We're not having to ask me. They haven't. That's back to no, they item have, one. They have, they have, and they have, I think that we should we should review item one later sure tonight again this, uh, about the sidewalk use law and how to stand up to police yeah. and how to be courteous. We can we we're, we're gonna have to go through that over and over and over, especially as we get clarification probably every meeting about what we say to police and where we stand our ground and where we kind of make uh, negotiation, give and take. There's some places where we don't want to give away the farm. Well, can't so we let's, work with let's police get to on that. this and, and perhaps have the police come down with the executive order? I don't I believe so. Oh, okay. I think strategically I, I you don't have the right for the group to be going off in that direction. I ask you not to. Uh, but we should talk about that. Just big guy girl right there, got her hand up. This is just a real short thing that I just came through my head. It's like using acronyms. If you could think of something that goes through your head real fast, like Good when point. you use HALT, Speak hungry, up. angry, lonely, tired. If you can do that to get your message to cue you in to think of that immediately when you get into a situation. So yeah. you don't have to go, oh, this and that. You've got a little acronym. Good idea. Okay. Right. okay. So but let me go through as, the other two. As far as keeping this visual operating. Okay. So, um, so yeah. So we... The video stuff, we're getting more material to make that possible. It's going on. Not just documenting, but uh, live stream, you stream as well. Uh, uh, our signs, we're working together to get signs consistent. Beautiful signs out here all the time. That's really necessary. Um, we are keeping those candles lit. I don't know if you've noticed, but when there's dead flowers, and material like literature and the candles are lit it looks beautiful when the candles are out it looks terrible so we got to keep the candles lit we're working on keeping the oil and keeping 99's the candles. got them candles lit all the time yeah so we're doing really well on these things and i guess the other item i'd like to put out there is like well there's also the appearance stuff if we need trash cans because we don't have one we got to get one and all that stuff Lastly is basic human needs being met by ourselves and sharing and helping each other. If we know people don't have food or haven't gotten sleep, something's going on, we've got to, first of all, be responsible to tell each other when you've got problems like that and let people in to help. But every one of us is a resource 
and and we are the people we can't lose it more important than the arguments and the wins and loses over personal decisions and and all that is whether a person has a hassle that makes them not want to come back and so whatever is going on and we we have to allow that person to have what they need to come back so let's remind each other on a daily basis that we're the most valuable resource that this protest has and that includes speaking up when we have needs and speaking to each other when we're seeing those and helping one another and that that's it i think that's the only four i know there's one other thing one other having a handsome guy like me laying on the sidewalk yeah yeah oh my god how could i forget how could i forget our sleep our sleep jimmy you said that colonel that that uh wrote Rose, Michael Rose said, "We got to do the platform, like I'm going to do tonight. We got to do that. Can you tell us real quick before the meeting's over about yeah. what he said?" So uh, the lawyer that helped Colonel win his case Woo! was just commenting to me today that now is the time to start to push this structure issue. It's time to start sleeping on pallets. We're not thinking about it now because it isn't cold and wet. But we need to get this issue settled now. So that when it does get cold and wet, the pallets or whatever the hell you want to call them, sleeping pad, whatever they are, it's a done deal. So that was just his advice to us.